Hi friends, welcome to Vacation Technologies. Today we are going to discuss about namespace in C sharp. So first of all, we are just going to discuss about the namespace in C sharp. Then what what is the need of namespace? And I am going to show you programmatically that how the namespace looks like and under the namespace how the classes are present. So first of all, what is the namespace? So namespace is nothing but about logical grouping of classes and types. And each namespace is always unique in nature. So the so the name of the namespace should be always unique. So we can't give the same name of the namespace each and every time in the other places. So basically, the, the namespace contains the classes and uh, or the types or the structure. And under those classes, it contains the methods and the variables. And now the next thing is, what is the need of namespace? The need of namespace is to avoid the name collision. Because let's say for an example, uh, let's say I have a class called as test. Okay. So the test class is present under a particular namespace. But let's say I want to create another class with the same name. But see, if I'll create this class with the same name, then that will create a name collision for the class. And to avoid that, we use the namespace. So now let's say for the for the first test class that is that should be present under a namespace. Let's say namespace A. And when we are just going to create a second class, that class name should be same of edge of the first one, and that is the test. And at that time we are just going to give the namespace edge B. So let's say when the user just try to access for the for the first test class. Then he or she should be accessed from the namespace a dot that class name that is the test. And when another user, whether he or she tries to access the second test class, then he or she should access from the namespace b. So the the, the how the it looks like is b dot test. So to avoid that the the naming collision for the classes, we just use the namespace and always the name should be unique for the namespace and like whenever we just used to uh, generate the dll and we we use those dlls into some of the other projects or, or in the shared library then at that time it is very helpful and th there will be any, any other scenarios like uh, like it's a very big project and uh, there are like multiple classes are there okay now, how you will differentiate that that which class present under which namespace? So, to do that, what we can do for particular set of classes, we used to define a particular namespace. Let's say for test one, test two, test three, that should be present under the namespace A, and let's say test four, test five, test six, that should be present under the namespace B. So, so it is easier for the programmer. Programmer while while accessing those classes and while accessing those classes, they or they should uh, access by using the namespace, because if it's a very big project, then it will be very difficult to manage the manage those classes and names manage those classes, and to do that we use always the namespace. Now let me show you the programmatically how the namespace looks and. So, so now here you can uh, see I have created a sample application, alright. So here you can see these are the like few of the namespaces, okay. So if I hover the mouse over the system, then you can see it is showing namespace system. So, so this is a type of namespace, and under this system, there are like various classes and methods are present. So to access those things, first we need to include this namespace. And after that, we can access those classes, and under those classes, we can access those methods. And similarly, system dot web. This is a type of namespace. And here you can see this system dot collection dot generic. This is a type of namespace. And here you can see system dot io. So under this system dot io, there are like several uh, classes are present, like file, stream reader, stream writer. Okay. So under that file. So file is basic file is basically a class. So under that file, there are multiple methods are there like file dot uh, file dot create, okay, file dot delete, file dot copy, file dot move, etc. Now the next thing is system dot text. This, this, this is also a namespace. Now here you can see uh, this is my program class, okay. 
so 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 basically these are the predefined uh, name spaces okay so these are the predefined name spaces which i am uh, showing here like system.txt system.io system.web system these are the pre predefined name spaces and under the those predefined name spaces there are various types of classes and methods are present now the next thing is this is just a user defined class and here you can see this is my user defined namespace so to to access this program class what i need to do i need to include this namespace console application like using console application semicolon okay so after that i can use this program class and under that main method or whatever the met methods are present so now let me create a new class So here I am just going to add a new class. Alright. So it, the class one dot cs it is. So let me keep it as it is. So now here you can see. Let me zoom it. Alright. So now here you can see. The 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 class name is class one because we gave the class name as class one. But you can give it. Anything as per your wish. Okay. Now this is an this is also under the namespace console application one. So let's say if if anyone just want to use this class one, then first he or she needs to add that namespace that is the console application one, and then they can use the class one. And let's say if under this class one there are like uh, uh, various methods are there, then we can. Uh, create the object of this class and then we can access those and always this this namespace should be unique now uh, the next thing is uh, like like this namespace should be unique and to avoid the naming collision we use the uh, namespace so uh, you, you can see like uh, these all these namespaces you know so like some of the namespaces are uh, not present under your uh, solution then uh, from the NuGet packages you need to install those namespaces and later on you can use it. So this is all about the namespace in C Sharp like how uh, we can create the namespace and how like what is what is the necessity of namespace and and like one more thing is like for every class there should be a namespace. So this is all about our today's video. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to our channel.